Hey guys, you ready to do another product review? That's right, Debbie Meyer's back with those uh, green ultralight box uh, containers for your food. You remember the Debbie Meyer's green bags? That the green bags kept things more fresh than the uh, regular Ziploc bags or whatever. So today I order the Debbie Meyer, and these are just some of them, there's a whole set of them, but uh, there's 62 pieces. I had to order the whole thing to do this test. Uh, but they will go back if they fail. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a container of Debbie Myers and one of my regular Glad containers. We're going to put different foods in them. We're just going to put one uh, identical foods in each one, seal them. Then I'm going to go to Vegas for a few days and come back, and we're going to examine to see how uh, mold has developed, or we're just going to let them rot. It's going to be cool. I purposely want food to rot. Can you believe that? Anyway, the things I do on the show. All right, first test is easy. I'm gonna put a slice of white bread in there, slice of white bread in there, and that's it. White bread gets bad real fast. We're gonna close these up. Make sure they're nice and tight. Pop the air out of each one. Oh wow, that's kind of flimsy. This little tab, it looks like it's gonna break off, just so you know. All right, air's out of that one. Make sure the air's out of that one. There we go. All right, there, perfect. Okay, test number two, we're doing strawberries. Test number three, mushrooms. That's right, these bad boys, they get slimy quick. And test number four, going to be cheese. I'm just going to place one in there, place one in there, put the lid on. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, cheese one first. As you can see, a little bit of water has come out of the cheese, not a lot, in this container. The cheese doesn't, doesn't smell bad. I, and this is 21 days? Wow. That held up great. I mean, it's bent, but who cares? You know, let's break it. Take a look. Yeah. I mean, it's still, still cheese. No mold whatsoever. Crazy. And a little bit of water got released. Okay, here is the Debbie Myers one, which these tabs are horrible, by the way. I feel like they're going to break off. They're really flimsy. Whoops. Dripping a lot of water here. Let's see if the... Yep. About the same amount of water down there in the bottom. Cheese uh, looks identical to me. In 21 days, geez, unbelievable. That these containers, any of these containers are keeping it from mildewing. Let's look at the bread. The bread looks like the uh, no water or moisture came out of it. Look at the bread, it's still, it's still good. It still feels fresh, it's not even stale or anything. Dang, here's the bread from Debbie Myers. Three weeks. Exactly same feel, no moisture released. Yeah, I mean, this is still edible, it's not stale either. All right, now we're getting to the stuff that spoils really, really easily. This is three weeks. These are the mushrooms. Let's take a look at them. First, let's look at the moisture released. Whoops, they're a little slimy. Not a lot of water down there. Uh, they're, yep, they're slimy. Not, I would say, not completely. I've felt worse, but they are definitely not good anymore. They got stickiness on my fingers, so. Uh, so let's get the other box down here. Let's see how those feel. They look, yep, they're, I mean, literally equally, equally as slimy. A little bit of, little bit of juice release there. A little bit of juice release there. Ironically, this is clear water and this looks more of a brownish color. So I don't know if that's a sign of anything, but they feel identical. All right, here we go. This is the stuff that's really taking a, taking a turn for the worst. 
and I purposely let it get this way so that I could see all of them are spoiled. You could see that there's some green mildew happening, some white mildew happening, okay? I wanna put them side by side. Is there any water that was released? No water came out though. Isn't that weird? Not a drop of water. Take a look at this one. This one seems to have fared just a little bit better. You can see more red. Kind of compare how much, they all went in red, okay? I see more red, which means more of this is fresher than more of this. So uh, Debbie Myers wins by a little bit, but here's the weird thing, look. A whole bunch of moisture came out of these in this container and none came out of these. Don't know what that means, but you guys make your own decision. Uh, and yet, here's another interesting thing. This one right here, look how badly that one molded. I don't think I have any in here that went that bad. Like a little bit of white, but this one's like way, way bad. So they're fairly close. Ugh, just got done washing my hands from handling all that bad food. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do a little quick review. Two of the items didn't go bad. They looked identical in both containers. The other two went bad. Only the strawberries looked a little better in the Debbie Myers light green boxes, okay? So uh, bottom line is they look like they worked equally. So, I mean, you can make your own decision on what you saw, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not paying $62 for Debbie Myers stuff when I can get the same results out of regular Glad or Ziploc or Rubbermaid or something else that's uh, a lot less expensive. And the bottom line is this, that was 21 days. If you're storing anything for 21 days in the refrigerator, stop it. That's crazy. You should have eaten it by then or toss it or give it away or something. So is it worth it? It didn't fail but it just acted like regular containers. So that's my review, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought at the bottom. Do you guys uh, use Debbie Meyer boxes? Do you use the green bags? Do those work for you? We'll talk to you on the next episode. Take care. But wait, there's more. <laughs> it's like an infomercial. I just wanna let you guys know, I bought those boxes from HSN, Home Shopping Network, and guess what? Not only uh, do I get to return them, no problem, but they have a prepaid label that was in the box, and I get to use that too. They said, ah, if it doesn't work, send it back. HSN, you guys rock. So if you're thinking about shopping HSN, go ahead, their return policy is great. They didn't give me any problems whatsoever. All right, now I'll see you on the next episode.